you're going to find two different types of sewing all. This is the type we're going to use, but we'll look at this as well. At the end of the sewing all, you'll find it has this little groove here, which is a hook. So we're not going to use a hooked sewing all. We want an eyed sewing all. And if we come to the end here, you can see that is eyed, ready to receive the thread. And it is also flat on the top here, and I will be referring to it as a recess. And I can just get a pen and mark that off with a sharpie, that that is the side with the recess. 150 denier waxed thread 260 foot I can either cut myself a section off for small projects or I can load it straight from the spool to load the needle I want to turn the recess facing down and just load the needle through like that some sewing holes you'll see on eBay and Amazon will have some kind of spool either a screw top spool that goes inside or a spool down the bottom they're little gimmicks they're not necessary this is all you need a professional sewing all and there's a link to one in the description and they're not expensive at all and the thread is not expensive at all right tools for the job got a scrap bit of material it's the front pouch to a Bergen so it is the 1000 denier that we're all used to I'm going to fold it in half and put some stitches across here so I'm going to pen a straight line across here to follow now this is absolutely crucial to get that neat appearance so mark out exactly where them stitches are going if I'm using that to put a new buttle on I want this box absolutely straight to give that professional appearance so I'll mark off exactly where it's going to go by using a rule and a pen and it ensures that the stitches are small neat and squared off as well first ensure that the black spot for the recess is facing down onto your project and send the needle through both parts of your project when I pull back on the sewing all it creates a loop there And this is going to be the tail and I can pull the needle back out like that and this tail needs to be twice the length as the project this would be the outside that is visible this would be the inside you're not going to see to make the first stitch I'm going to follow that pen line before I put the first stitch in, I could, if I want, mark off exactly where the stitches are going every two or three mil. I wouldn't exceed three mil, but as a rule of thumb, the width of the actual all itself is where the stitch is going. I'm going about three mil over and start feeding it through feel for the sharp needle coming through fingers out the way push that through pull the sewing all back halfway it forms them loops on the end here the black spot there tells me the recess is this side here so I can lengthen that loop a bit and bring the tail end up through this now you can bring the tail up or down 
I've tried both ways, they both work. Let's come down with this one and pull the sewing all out. I have one thread attached to the sewing all. If two come out, you've gone over the wrong side of the sewing all. And I'll show you how to correct that in a minute. Now what we need to do is just pull tight from either side. That's created our first stitch. Let's try and get a smaller stitch this time. I'm on that pen line that I inked in. I've put the sewing all through and I'm going to pull back halfway and it forms these loops. I want the loop with the recess. We know where the recess is because of that little dot that I penned, meaning this is the side I want. And now what I do, if you want, is to pull the sewing all completely out. That means your fingers are out the way and you're not going to get spiked. Reach inside, grab the tail, bring that tail through the loop and tighten down. And that's the second stitch in. I'm going to show you what can go wrong and how to put it right here on this stitch. I'm going to come through right on the ink line so I know I'm going in a straight line. I'm coming over about 3mm. Bring the sewing all back towards me. And there it's created the loops on the end of the awl. If you get this wrong and come through the wrong side of the sewing awl, which I'm going to do now on purpose, you'll find two pieces of thread coming through. And what I mean by that is when I remove the sewing awl, two pieces of thread are connected to the eyelet. Now you don't want that, so I haven't put the tail through the inside loop. I just take it out and start again. You can see the dot there means this upper loop is the one that I want. Pull the all out so I don't hurt myself. Reach inside, grab the tail and tighten it all up. Okay, let's do this in real time now. You can actually move quite quick with this, but please be careful. The sewing all is absolutely razor sharp. If you do end up buying a sewing all that has a reel either inside the handle or lower down, it'll have some kind of pin here that you wrap this excess cord around. But I find all you do is pull the excess cord until the needle comes back to your project. Through, pull back, grab the loop, tail through the loop, tighten, move forward just two or three mil. It's really important to keep them stitches small. Make a loop, grab the tail, tail through the loop. So let's do a really small stitch, just the width of the actual eyelet itself, probably there, through it goes, pull back, like that, in through the loop, grab the tail, tail through the loop, out and tighten from both sides and that stitch was formed there that last one nice and neat that is how I want your stitches to be no more than three mil which is about the width of the actual gadget and I've penned a line now I'm going to show you how to end your project by tying it all off 
I come through one last time like that and I want to cut this here right where the needle is so I'll be locking this stitch off snip that I can pull the sewing all out now once I have these two tails on the same side I'm going to tie it together in an overhand knot but this overhand knot I'm coming round at least three times to make a surgeon's knot there you have it that's all there is to it trim these off and then with a wax thread I'm going to make a weld And that's riveted in quite nicely so there's our demonstration so I'm going to move over to the actual project for this I've just cut a, a length this is a pocket or pouch I'm going to put onto an old Bergen push that through the pouch and the Bergen again I want to pen the line which is plenty just to keep the stitches in a straight line that's all I'm looking for the sewing all comes in through the pouch and then through the Bergen so now the sewing all has gone through the pouch and comes out at the Bergen here and then pull the tail through okay I'm ready to start with the first stitch again always have the recess facing down onto your project if it's not I'll just give you an example take the thread out rotate it until the recess is facing down onto your project re-thread it like that and that ensures that the recess here is facing down onto your project I'm going to put my hand inside the Bergen and grab that tail I don't want that coming out and put the first stitch in I'm going to check I'm still on the line which I am pull back on this to form a loop on there and the loop has been formed on the inside of the Bergen I have two actually so I'm going to check which side the recess is I can actually feel for it here and I know the recess is this one here I'm going to leave the needle in just for demonstration I pull it out because I'm always pricking myself with it pull the tail through the loop keep hold of the tail and pull the sewing all completely out I only have one thread attached to the all which means I'm correct pull the tension there's the first stitching I'm moving about three mil about the width of the actual needle itself pull back it's formed the loop I'm going to pull the all completely out because I don't want to keep jabbing myself with it reach inside grab the tail bring the tail through the loop and pull tight I'm going to show you everything you're going to need to sew this successfully I'm still on that line that I penned in I felt for the loop I'm feeling for the tail bring the tail through the loop although you're not seeing it because my hands in the way inside the Bergen you already know what's going on there let's do another stitch let's put the all through I know what side the recess is so when I pull back I can grab a loop without even looking these sewing all needles are so so sharp 
it'll go through quite a lot of material even including this webbing when I get to it although you can't see anything neither can I so this is sewing blind open up the loop grab the tail pull the tail through pull tight So I've just got this section here to finish off which is the side of the pouch all the way up to the top. Needles come out and it needs to go now into the Bergen also following that pen line that I've inked in. Bring the all out so I've only got one section of thread attached. So this in my right hand here is the tail which is now on the inside of the Bergen. I'm going to orientate the actual sewing all to make sure that the recess here is facing down onto the project which it is. You notice I'm doing a twisting motion to put the sewing all in. I don't want to push down quickly at all pull back on the sewing all I've got the loop in my right hand on the inside of the Bergen I'm feeling for the tail and it's come through the loop so now I can tighten both sides and after I've made a stitch I have this length here of cord which I just run the needle back to the start of the project ready for the next stitch and the sewing holes with a bobbin have some sort of winder that you've got to wrap around some sort of pin to prevent this having too much play in it but it's so easy just to return the needle to the project just like that in, there's no need to reinvent the wheel on the inside of the pouch these stitches here or from the pouch I'm going to follow these in an identical manner so I'm going to come over to the size of one of their stitches which is here so it's gone through the pouch and the Bergen that's the inside of the Bergen that is my recess side where this dot is so I can pull it back about 50% just a little bit reach inside the Bergen and form a loop just grab a loop like that hope you can see that loop and at this point I'm going to pull this out completely just so I don't pierce myself it's so easy to pierce yourself and it bloody hurts Pull the tail through the loop I've just made and pull both ends together. Nice strong loop. Return the sewing all back to the end of the project. It's so easy to use a sewing all. Once you get the hang of it, it needs mastering. Once again, I can follow one of their stitches that's already available because I'm working blind I can't see it either I'm feeling for that loop I'm pulling the tail through in my right hand and sometimes it's hard to find that little tail so just persevere
coming to the last stitch I'm getting ready to lock it off and rather than snipping it I'm going straight for the lighter get them tails welded in this is a view from the inside of the Bergen and you can see it pays dividend to keep them stitches small so now I have a, a basher pouch or a waterproof pouch on the front of one of my Bergens that I've put on an external frame in this case 